What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about Diablo 4, which I wouldn't really consider myself a complete noob at the game, but let's go ahead and say it. I, I pretty much am. The last time I played Diablo was Diablo 2, and that's been a long time ago. So when it comes to knowing everything about the game, that's definitely not me. I, I'm not a person that's experienced in uh, you know, everything about the story, everything about builds and all that, but I was kind of interested in picking it up, mainly because I'm a fan lately of buying games that I know that I can play for a long time. And I do mean, you know, years down the road. So things like I do games I do here on the channel, like Elder Scrolls Online, I've been playing a lot of Destiny lately. Of course, I've been uploading some Destiny videos, but I've always been a fan of that game. Then I kind of looked at Diablo and think, that's going to be a game that they're going to support for years to come. And that's kind of what I enjoy as of late. Games have gotten so expensive lately to me that it's been a, a problem to find something to play to really justify spending 85 you know 70 to 80 dollars to 90 dollars on a game that you're only going to be able to play for like maybe 30 hours of story now i still do love story driven games but when i learned about how diablo is going to be co-op how it's going to be supported you know with the live service how the developers are already talking about supporting the game for a very very long time uh, years down the road I kind of was interested in playing the game, even though I've never been a fan of that kind of over-the-top look that Diablo has. Uh, there's a lot of other games out there that had that, you know, the way it looks when you're playing as well. I'm a fan of, you know, deep kind of back third person, if it's an MMO or an RPG or first person. So that was one thing that always kind of, I was trying to decide if I really wanted to pick it up or not, because I really didn't look, I love the way that the game looks when you're kind of looking over the top and fighting and things like that. But I will say, of course, it works very well. It always has for Diablo. And I really hardly paid any attention to it since I started playing. So uh, that whole worry that I had personally for me of not liking that really doesn't bother me now. When it comes to the game in general, I really enjoyed the story and things so far. Like I said, I've not played every Diablo game, so I'm really not up on all of the story from start to finish. But I really don't think you have to be. If you've never played the game at all, you're still going to be able to understand what's going on. And the story is great. The voice acting is absolutely top-notch. Uh, Cutscenes are unbelievable. Blizzard did a great job on that. And I'm really enjoying just kind of every aspect of the, the story, side quests, you know, just everything you can kind of find in-game. And one thing that I really do like about uh, Diablo 4 a lot is the co-op and playing with a couple of friends, having a really good time playing with friends, and that's an absolute blast. And that brings a different... Or another, I guess, layer to the game just overall. If you don't want to play by yourself, you can hop in with friends, uh, make a clan, find a clan, and just really enjoy the game with just other people as well if you would like to do that. When it comes to exploration and loot, uh, I really enjoyed the exploration, even though it takes a little bit of time to get your mount. Um, you have to do a lot of walking to begin with. But in my opinion, that's really a good thing because you can find a lot of different stuff just walking around the map. And of course, anytime you're doing anything in the game, there's loot dropping nonstop. You will have your you know inventory filled up with loot all the time, and that's a I think a good thing for people that like those RPG MMO looter style games. Sometimes they feel like you don't get enough loot, and it's almost like you know I have to keep farming stuff or doing stuff over and over to be able to get anything worth anything. That's not the case in Diablo Four. Um, you can find loot all the time doing anything. Now, it may not always be something you want to keep, but the great thing is there's some good advanced tool tips in game that really break down each piece of loot you find and explain exactly what they do for your character, what they change. And I really do enjoy, you know, finding those pieces of loot and checking and looking at everything, kind of figure out or trying to figure out exactly how I want to build my character going forward. When it comes to uh, performance, I'm playing on PS5. I started to get it on my PC. Um, I have a good gaming PC, of course. You know, they do all the editing and recording here with on YouTube was the main reason that I purchased it. My only problem with buying it on PC is I have an external uh, HD X Elgato, uh, the HD 60X. And I do have issues sometimes recording and playing on my, uh, my PC with that external uh, capture card. So I was like, well, I'm going to get it on PS5. Surely. You know it's going to perform well and it does it performs i have not had any issues so far uh, on ps5 not saying that i won't there has been a few times that not be a little bit of screen tearing here or there but nothing like major fps drops or anything 
And the one main reason that I was thinking about buying it on PC was, of course, because, you know, you can get that higher performance with it when it comes to FPS. Um, one thing I will say that I have heard a few people complaining about on new gen consoles is the contrast of the game looks a little fuzzy at times. I have not personally had that issue myself. Uh, I do play on a monitor, so I know some TVs may be a little bit different, but you may want to adjust the contrast on your TV or monitor if you're having that issue because that would be the only thing I can think of that might help out. You know, just kind of me looking at it, if I had that issue, that's what I would do. But overall, the performance on, on PS5 has been top notch. I'm not sure about the Xbox, you know, Series S and X. I've heard some people talking about how good it looks on there and how good it plays and some, you know, that don't. But that's always going to be the case no matter what platform you're playing on. But I, I don't think, no, really, it doesn't matter what platform you're playing on. Everyone can play together anyway because the game is, is cross-play. So pretty much you, if you're going to get the game, you can get it on whatever platform you kind of want. But overall, just like I said, in general, the performance on PS5 has been really good. I'm really looking forward to see what the developers do with the game going forward. Because as of right now, once you hit 50, of course, there's going to be tons of stuff to do and tons of dungeons to do and tons of everything to do. And, of course, the end game is looking really good as well, especially when the developers recently had a conversation uh, with PlayStation. They had an interview with PlayStation, and PlayStation asked them, you know, how they were approaching, uh, you know, the game going forward. And they said the game being, you know, more open world, the game being more of a live service game, they can offer stuff that people don't even know about yet for a very, very, very long time is kind of how they worded that. So we're looking at content probably for this game for years to come. And I know that's going to make a lot of the Diablo fans out there very excited. And I think it's going to make a lot of the fans that are like myself that may not be someone that's played every single Diablo game but does enjoy this one and does enjoy those or the style of games. I think it's going to make a lot of people happy to have something to play for a really long time. So if you're curious about Diablo 4, you definitely might want to give it a look. Of course, you know, keep watching some YouTube, some streams, whatever the case may be, reading reviews. But take it from me, I, I was not really uh, sure if I was going to enjoy it. And I was really wrong. I really do enjoy the game a lot. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.